How's it going? So you clicked on this video for one reason and one reason only. So you want that little timer in the bottom corner. Perfect. I'm going to teach you how to do it. No mucking around, no nothing. Straight to the point. Let's go. So first things first, you want to go to live split. There's going to be a link to this page in the description. So click on that. You're going to come here. You click this bad boy. It's going to start downloading. Next, you're going to want to create a new folder on your desktop and drag the zip file into it. So we've got a brand new folder. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to open this bad boy up and drag everything inside into this brand new folder on your desktop. Easy done. Next, we're going to want to open up live split by double clicking on this exe file. It's going to bring up this pop up window. Okay, so this is your timer. This is the basic of the basic. You're going to open this edit splits. So now is where all the fun stuff begins. So now we've opened live split. What we're going to do is choose the game. We're going to type in Minecraft. Well, next is the run category. Don't have to put this in. It's just a little subheader, subtitle that you can that you can put in. After you've added in the game name as well as the category that you're going to be running, we're going to be adding in splits. Splits are a way of breaking down the game into smaller segments in order to track your progress throughout the run. For example, we're going to have four splits in our Minecraft speedrun. So what we're going to do is we're going to add four segments. We have already have one. We're going to insert below two, three, and four. Next, we're going to title the splits Overworld, Nether, End Portal Search, and Ender Dragon. Now, if you want icons next to your splits, like I have right here, just double click on this icon, choose the file that you're after, click open, and it'll be all set to go. Now, these are the icons that I have chosen for my splits. If you would like the same, join our Discord in the description down below. Chuck me a message there, and I'll send them over to you. So we only have four splits. However, there's multiple different spaces here. Now, to get rid of that, right click on it, click edit layout, layout settings, and then it'll come up with this window. If you then never go over to the splits tab, you'll see the total number of splits. We actually don't want this many. We only want four for Minecraft. So we're just gonna get this down to four. And as you can see, it's shrunk considerably. Now, if you're looking to not have a small box like this, but instead of a horizontal line, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Most of the other windows in the layout settings are pretty self-explanatory, so I won't be explaining that. Now, if you wanna add some more spicy things to spice up your speedrun timer, you're more than welcome to hit the plus button Go through a list of these different things and you can see what you'd like. For example, if you want a more detailed timer, go into the timer menu, click detailed timer, and there will be a detailed timer. You can then get rid of the other one by pressing the minus button. And that's how you do that. You can even add sound effects under the media and then sound effects panel, which will allow you to add your own MP3 files after completing, say, a segment or a split or even completing a run. Just adds a little bit more customization. Now, one of the last things we're going to want to do is add our own hotkeys. Right click on the window, click settings, and now we'll come up with a hotkeys window. Now the first five settings are gonna be the most commonly used, but for this tutorial, we're just gonna do the first three. To change the hotkey, click on the setting and then click the button that you want the, to change the hotkey to. For example, mine's gonna be insert. Next, reset. This resets the entire run and brings the timer back to zero. And undo split is quite important because sometimes I do a little bit of fat fingering and I press the start or change split and that will move me onto the next split by accident and we're going to want to undo that. So for example, undo split shall be page up. Now make sure to choose uncommon keys so you don't accidentally press these keys during the speed run. Next, I'd recommend turning on global keys right here. This allows you to press the same hotkeys and it will affect the timer no matter which window is in focus. So whether you're alt tabbed into the game or alt tabbed out of the game, those hotkeys will still work. You're more than welcome to resize the window at any time by dragging the corners of the window. Next, I'm going to be explaining the different colors in the split. Now the blue color basically means you've finished the speed run. Now that you've gotten a personal best and successfully completed a run, you will now see your personal best times for the splits on the right side. If the number is positive in red, that means you've been going slower than you were in your personal best run. If the number is minus in gold, that means you have golded that split and is the fastest you've ever completed that segment of the game. If the number is minus in green, that means you are ahead of your personal best by the indicated amount shown. Now, sorry for the streamception here, but we're going to import the live split window onto our OBS scene so we can then see it on our stream. First things first, we're going to want to click the plus icon just down here. Click window capture then click on create a new window and call it live split. Click OK. Now you're going to want to make sure to choose our window and make sure it has live split chosen. And this will allow us to see our live split window on our stream. The live split on the left is the one that you can see through OBS. The one on the right, however, is the one that I can see on my desktop. Now, 
by changing the window size of live split on my desktop it actually changes the window itself on obs so that's a little bit of a convenient way to change the dimensions for obs now if you're interested in making live split a little bit transparent like other streamers do there isn't actually a way inside of live split to be able to do this so we're gonna have to do a little bit of a workaround first right click then go to edit layout then go to layout settings and change the background color for me personally i find that the dark magenta color 255 0 255 works best so i would change that to that if you haven't already if you find that the magenta is too similar to one of the icons that you have currently like my nether portal then maybe this dark green might work for you instead next go to previous segment go to vertical then choose plane and bring the opacity right down then do the same for title next come back to obs you want to go to click on live split right click filters plus add chroma key it'll automatically default to green however you're more than welcome to change that to the magenta that we made earlier otherwise choosing a custom color select color and then pick a color anything on your uh, on your screen will also work now as you can see because the green was too similar to the icons that we already have it has actually removed some of our icon and green screened that out. That is why it's quite important to find icons that are very different to the background color that you're going to be choosing. Now that everything's been sorted and you've got everything set up the way that you'd like, right click, click save splits, and then also save layout. So that way, next time you open up live split, everything is not reset back to square one and you'll be good to go. If these tips help you out, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below on anything else that you would also like to be interested in learning. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys. Thanks so much for coming in. If you want to keep up to date with me, see some more content by me, definitely would check out the Twitch and the YouTube channel as you can see on the door just behind me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.